Um, anyway, meanwhile, Joseph gave me a link to the BB Viewer. Now, this is a mythical beast. You can watch, like, all BBs, like, and it's, like, HD. That was even better. The K-pop was good, but this was even better. Um, and what, we could you be- can watch them live or old, yeah, old seasons? Can, I don't know. It looks like you can watch a live feed on there and everything. It, mm. looked de- it looks proper decent. We need to explore it for BB-18. But, um, anyway, and we could just watch it smooth as you like, but we had to watch it with all the adverts. But I thought, considering we had to watch it with the adverts, and it was 12 till 2 a.m., it didn't actually drag as much as I thought it was going to. What do you think? I, I, do, I, str- I struggle to remember the evening, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, yeah, I, no, I would say, yeah, it did seem quite punchy. You went and had a nap beforehand. Imagine me. I was so grumpy by the end of it. I was, like, ready to, like, strangle someone. We were going to do a podcast <laughs> after the finale, but we just didn't have the energy, so... If Tim would have won, I think we yeah. would have been buoyed up to do the podcast but as it was we were just like fuck I was like fuck as soon as Tim went we were just like it was bitter it was proper bitter but now we can look back because it's a couple of days ago a few days ago and we can look at it so now let's say what's our stupid opinions on this stupid finale we're going to but I'm just saying do you think we have more perspective now or do you think we've been sullied by the world since then. Can I we think, give a pure opinion? I think personally, like, I've, you know, you get that feeling, like, after you've watched The Big Brother, it's like literally the day afterwards, you, it, it's like a one-night stand. You, 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 <laughs> you, you, walk, you walk away and you think, my, my God, what was I thinking? It's like, how was I so involved in that? And now suddenly I feel so detached from it. So it's like a weird sort of feeling. It's like I've been fucked by the Pax Brothers. <laughs> That's not a good feeling. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I know what you mean, though. There is an empty, hollow feeling that grows and grows. But the thing is, normally with Big Brother Canada, I don't like when I watch BB UK, I get that thing that our oh, Big Brother's been shit. What do I do with my life? It's like I'm fucked. But I've never really felt that way with Big Brother Canada before. But this year, I actually had that feeling, and that's the first time. So I think that goes to show, first of all, this is the best season of Big Brother Canada that we've ever had. Even though it was a reasonably bad ending. (laughs) And, you know, with Big Brother USA, I get that feeling as well. But I'm just saying, I think now Big Brother Canada is on the, it's on the same level as the other ones that I enjoy so mm, much. That's interesting. It's definitely put itself out there. It's definitely like a, a contender, let's put it that way. Well, I was going to ask you, like, do you, well... It's You're not, asking me a question. Yeah. Shoot. Like, <laughs> now that Big Brother Canada has done this thing with the wild cards yeah. and the Jason Worry twist and everything, <laughs> do you... How do you see Big Brother in context of the other ones, i.e. BBAU, BBUK and BBUSA? How do I see Big Brother Canada? How do you see it within the context of all the other ones? I think Big Brother Canada has always carved its own groove and it's always tried to incorporate international elements like the Marsha the Moose thing and all that sort of stuff. That BB US... It's Marsha Foreign. No, but it's like what they do. It's like the tree of oh, temptation. Okay. It's like the tree of temptation. Oh, got you, yeah. It's like Surly the fish. So it's ha- got that fun element. Like, can you imagine a character like that in the Big Brother US house? Like, going, "Hey, Aaron, what have you been saying lately?" Yeah, <laughs> Z- Zingbot. Oh yeah, that's true. But Zingbot only comes in once. No, you're he right. You're puts, right. He don't. You don't interact with Zingbot. Zim- Zingbot just tells you what's what and then fucks off. He doesn't like. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't come on to you like uh, Marsha and Pete or whatever anyway yeah you're right they do yeah no you're right maybe yeah maybe I'm I'm overlooking that but I think now having seen this season <laughs> I would say Big Brother Canada is it's in with my favourite Big Brother Canada Big, Big, <laughs> Big Brother all, all overs <laughs> yeah it's 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 up there it's up there but you don't like Big Brother Australia anyway and it's no also, it's, too, it's too long it's also gone um Anyway. And it got finished, it got suspended once because someone <laughs> teabagged, did they teabag someone? Yeah. <laughs> Do you wonder, like, I always think when I think about that Big Brother show when they stopped it the first time, before Tim Dawn was on, it's like, apparently the show got suspended because someone teabagged someone, like, on an episode, but yeah. I wonder... It did, I've seen the clip. But, yeah, that's what I'm thinking, like, did they, like, say, oh, look, this happened and now we're stopping the oh, show? Yeah. <laughs> was there live feeds? It like, was live feeds then. So did you see the tea? Yeah, bag? I've seen the clip of it. 
I've seen it happen. How was it? Uh, what happened was afterwards, the, the show just went on and the girl was called to the dome and she was like, she was okay with it, but I think there was so much uproar from viewers that it got cancelled on that basis. I think so. I could be talking out my ass there. But it's no worse than when other countries talk about BB UK and say Nikki won. Nikki won the CVV version or whatever. Nikki's never won any Big Brother and probably never will. Do you think Tim Dormer should come to BB UK? And if so, how do you think he would fare? Like you think he's played Canada. Australia, both of those, let's be honest, pussy versions of Big Brother. You come over to BBUK, you get called a cunt, you get called this, you get called that, you get, you have to fuck someone. Do you think he can hack it? You have to f- <laughs> fuck someone? <laughs> what, you mean fuck? I'm talking, like, open it. I'm talking Austin Armour no, shouting you, in your face. You don't have to do You've that. You've got Helen Wood in there. How's Tim going to cope with her? I think in the UK, <laughs> I think you need to play a, um, like, quite a subtle game. To like pass through to the end, you have to be like, what's the word? Not magnanimous, but you have to be a little bit. It's all the, all the big hitters, all the big like brush characters mm. tend to get. They'll go deep, but they'll they'll, they'll get knocked out. But on the know? celebrity version, would he go in celebrity? Maybe he'd go in this mixed version. But on the celebrity version, it's all brush characters, really, isn't it? Well, we're looking at a three month season of BBUK that is allegedly half celebrities and half civilians but Mm -hmm. I don't believe it I think it's going to be I believe it I think it's half returning players and half newbies but because how can you afford a celebrity for three months easy get them get them off those fucking X on the beach and all that shit loads of Mm. why a man all those pricks in there easy get ten ten of ten buy ten get one free it'll be all those fucking twats in there you think they're going to give you dangizing? You think they're going to give you Enzo? That's what I want. I want, I know, that's Enzo, what you want. I want Enzo. I want Dan Giesling. I want Adam Pop. I want Rachel and Gary Glitter. Adam Just Pop. Stick them all in <laughs> and see what happens. I want Drew from Big Brother Australia. But yeah, but Tim Dormer, I would like in there as well. Yeah. That would and be. to play three Big Brothers on the on the that bounce would be, good. would be good. And then put him in BBUS to finish it off. I mean, they sent Emmett to Big Brother. What was it Africa? They must have been like, I can't understand a fucking word this guy's saying. Not because he's speaking English, because he's unintelligible. Uh, this is completely unrelated <laughs> as well. But look, we just did on our BBUK recently on the celebrity. It was UK versus USA, and you would think, I, sp- I think what they, what the pro- producers I- expected was that the public would be patriotic. <laughs> Towards their own. As if. No, but they were. The final five were four Oh, yeah, UK. that's true, actually. The only American was Austin Armacost, and he lives in Yorkshire. <laughs> so, really, they were right. Yeah, that's true. But come on, we don't vote for someone on that basis. Like Eurovision, we don't... Do you know what I mean? We're not nationalistic like that. We're also not xenophobic or racist or anything. We're just like, if you're a cunt, you're a cunt. If you're a nice person, you're a nice person. That's what I like about being British. It's like... We don't really give a shit about that sort of stuff. We're not proud to be British. We're ashamed to be British, if anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you. Aren't you? Are Kate, you Kate, are, Kate Hopkins. Are you proud to be British? I'm not. Am I proud to be British? Yeah. No, I'm ashamed to be British. Exactly. That's what I just said. All right. Where you're born is just an accident of birth. When I used to have... Um, well, I still have her as a friend, but my American friend, she was so proud to be American. I was like, why are you proud to be American? She's like, well, we were just taught to be proud to be American at school. And I was like... Oh, that's nice. Like, I wish we'd been taught to be proud to be British. Like, we couldn't give two fucks for that. It's actually yeah, but... nice to be proud of your country, even though... What is, it, what is this? Patreon <laughs> ga- <laughs> Patriot Games with Harrison Ford? Is that is that a film? No, uh, most countries are proud to be their own country, but we're so racist that we can't be proud. But what I'm saying is, if you were the, had the jury vote and you're Canadian, yeah. would you vote for Tim if he was in the final two? Yeah, or not? and I think they would have, because he was the best game player. Wasn't he? Or was he? Because no. if he was, shouldn't he have got there? So let's carry on. Right. So the final, the the last part of the HOH, or HOH, as Tim was saying, he was still there at this point, it was uh, the ice, the volcano, they had to build that um, path. Right, there was a, p- a pathway. <laughs> yeah. Not the care pathway. <laughs> that was made of uh, gla- glacial sheets. <laughs> I right. even had CGI snow. I know you love a bit of CGI. I love it. How much was that have cost them? More of, I'm surprised. At, at least from <laughs> I'm surprised it wasn't OxyClean raining down from the ceiling. <laughs> That'd be dangerous because if you inhaled it, although I'm sure OxyClean is very safe. <laughs> Easy clean. 
<laughs> yeah. I'm sh- you know, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. Kelsey said, it's so cold. Uh-huh. Mm. Um, how do you think Nikki would have done in that competition? Mm, I think well I mean obviously the dodo music is a, is a, is a standard mm. and I think um I don't know she just would have ducked out. That competition did look quite hard, didn't it? A lot of running about up and down and it was quite I thought it was quite dramatic. I thought it was quite good. It was oh, like, hang on. You had to put the pieces of the pathway together. Yeah. And then uh, um, my memory is very hazy of the evening. Mine is a little What <laughs> what happened what, yeah, what, once you'd made the path Oh, I know. Path, what happened? There was like a little flask and you had to like fill it up and then a ball come out the top. The old Mike yeah, Boogie. Yeah. The Mike Boogie task. Any questions? And then uh, you had to let a flare off at the end to show okay, you. So, I'd done it. I'd so done a win. The strategy is <laughs> yeah. you get the pieces of the um uh, the path, the path. Mm. you lay them down the floor separately then you put them in place on the thing and then obviously you fill in the thing is Mike Boogie speciality. Mm. So as it turned out, the brothers won it. Now, while... But why? During the competition, Kelsey was really struggling and Nick went to her, don't worry, you're still the best looking person here. Uh, sexist. Uh, and the, But the brothers... Come on, let's give the brothers respect where it's due. One of the brothers said, love you, bro. And the other one went, love you, dude. Oh, that actually almost met with my heart a little bit. And then when they won, I think it was Phil let off that flare... And I thought, this has actually gone a bit homoerotic. There was something about letting off that flare. Maybe it's just me at the moment, I think I'm on heat. But um, they were like cuddling each other. They let off that flare. It was all dramatic. What do you think? Frink worthy or... <laughs> well, a, ju- a pax jerk. It's individual choice, isn't it? <laughs> if you did have to have sex with big brother siblings, I mean, I know you'd probably go for Jack and Joe... But look at the look at what any sibling, any big brother siblings you've got, <laughs> Samantha. Oh, fuck sort of conversation is this? I would go Pax brothers personally. You can't it, just drop that song. You are, oh, what about Jedward? Oh, I mean they. Let's face it, they fuck each other anyway. So I'd go Pax brothers or Jedward. That's disgusting. What are you saying? Uh, I need to think. It's too hard. Oh, Rachel! You... Rachel, but then you got to fuck oh, the other sister. She doesn't count because they weren't in together. Can I just? Oh, pick... I don't know. I just pick. I just pick Rachel. No, that you're not allowed. You got to pick two siblings here and there at the same time. All right, time. with Jack and Joe. Fair dues. So yeah, the brothers won fair and square. The first part of the H O H. What can you say? Uh, no, hang on. You're missing the most important what? part, which is how. What came to pass beforehand? Yeah, what? Which is how did Kelsey do in it, and how did Tim do in it? Kelsey was struggling, and she said she was cold. She had forty-eight minutes. No, that's the next part of the HOH. Oh, this is still fuck. the. Don't worry, don't worry, dear listeners. What little of you <laughs> are still left interested in Big Brother? I'm not saying they're not interested in our podcast. I'm saying no one cares about Big Brother Canada anymore, including you, apparently, according to your memory. That's true. Uh, <laughs> don't have a podcast row. We've never had a row on the podcast before. Let's not start now. All right. Oh, you want to start now? <laughs> so then Tim goes, I've got to play in bloody round two. And what do you think of Tim's performance that you put up in round two? I think it was aptly named Holy Craps. Oh, with the the die. The dice. So, hang on. on. What happened here in this section was... Oh, fucking hell. It's like having dementia. (laughs) It's like you had to... Oh, yeah, to roll the thing, the block round, to get the right answer up. Mm. And the... Oh... What was it? How many? Oh, you had to pick the chip up and it was like, who won this? There was a lot of things I can't remember. It was quite complicated, though. It's no wonder it didn't give up. (laughs) Yeah. You had to say what... I've written, you had to say what week they won what or something in brackets. I can't remember. (laughs) That's it. That's it. So, you had to... Basically, it was, it was like that one where you rolled the dice round in uh, the um, the BBUSA Except garden. that was better, because yeah. they were in the dice. Exactly. <laughs> but anyway, so you had to get the answer right, and so mm. and so. But what I couldn't work out, I thought, oh, like, basically, if you just do all combinations, if you just do as many exactly. combinations as you can, yeah. even for three hours, mm. you got a fighting chance. It's like when... If you just turn around and say, oh, I can't do it, I give up, 
then what's wrong with you? Exactly. It's like it's like when Creepy Chris said. 